Boldness, boldness and courage is used synonymously in the scriptures and it's, it's even in Webster's, it's pretty much the same thing. But um, Bible boldness is, is absolutely necessary to see and to experience what God wants us to do because everything, not everything, most of what God asks us to do is, is not normal. But here, this one thing he, he made real to me, See, you can have talent, you can have gifts, you can have support, you can have resources, and, and you can know what God, you can even know what God wants you to do. But if you don't have courage and boldness, you won't pull the trigger. You'll sit around and talk about it all the time. And, and the Bible said it's the doers that's blessed. But what is that that caused me to move past that, that urge to fear, that temptation to to, 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 to get past, and we'll talk about this later, but to get past that, that, that thing that comes up to try to make me back down. What is it that caused me to fear um, that it won't work? What is it that caused me to fear that people may, may think a certain way about me? What is it that caused me to, 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 to stop in my track? What is it that caused me to be hypnotized by the very appearance of maybe this won't come out good? Boldness is what will push you past that, that, that uncertainty. Boldness will put you, push you past, it happened last time. Boldness will push you past, what, what will people think? Boldness will push you past that. Well, I got hurt last time. Boldness will say, go again. Because when you understand who you are, you know what you deserve. When you understand who you are, you know what you can do, and you know who's with you. I'm telling you, my God, God is for me. Yeah. No, let me talk about you. God is for you. Yeah. And he made promises to you that he'll never leave you, never forsake you, never let you down. He made this promise to you. He said you will always triumph. Didn't he say it? He said you'll do what? Always triumph. He said, listen, he said you are a conqueror. You are an overcomer. You are the head and not the tail. That's what God says about you. Now, what you got to do is say that about you. What you got to do is get that on the inside of you so that when, when I told you how life will come, see, life will give you a lot of questions with no answers. And, but life will test you. You test you. But life will come. And when life comes with a question, you give it the answer. What's the answer? Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. But see, if you don't know that, if, if you're not bold to step into that, you won't ever experience it. One of the things I'm going to tell you and show you is that, see, you'll never experience, everybody that experienced miracles in the Bible, they push past that first layer of doubt and fear. Boldness is the missing ingredient. A lion once it finds out what, it's, what he wants, when it's hungry, it will go after what it wants in spite of the things in front of it. Because it doesn't care. It, it doesn't fear for its life. Oh my God, what's going to happen if I do this? He's so bold, he said, I'll take it on. Houston, we got a problem. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it, chasing all of them. All of them running. God said, you're bold as a lion. When you're hungry, when you're hungry, I said, when you're hungry, you, you don't care. You don't need anybody else to go with you. If you don't believe what I'm saying, fine. If you don't want out what I want, fine. I'll go by myself. Why? Because I'm bold as a lion. I don't care what the opposition look like. I got something in me that they don't have in them. That's the way them demons do when they come to your house. See, somebody at home need to stand up and say, uh-uh, no, that ain't happening. That is not happening here. That is not happening to my family. That's not happening to my business. That's not happening to my church. If I got to go by myself, there's something in me that can take him on. A line doesn't turn away. Quit running. Quit making excuses why you won't go forward. Quit making excuses why stuff is not working. Go forward. Have I not commanded you? Be what? And of good what? Or boldness. 
do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Whenever you obey God. He said, have I not commanded you? Whenever you obey God, you, 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 you activate or you trigger his power to work on your behalf. Pastor, it's so hard. No, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. You can, you know, what I always say, you, you can do hard. We don't back off from hard. You know, once you, once you do hard a couple of times, you start realizing hard ain't all that hard. No, you got to push through that initial trepidation. And then you realize, I've been letting this hold me back all this time. No. We've been, we've been conditioned to do, I mean, we've been, by the power of God, we've been uh, 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 equipped to handle hard. He said the way of a transgressor is hard, but he said to us, we, 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 don't, we don't have to deal with hard, we deal with it, but we overcome hard. We triumph over hard.